Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and we're going to come back to previous updates um, for January, uh, particularly the big bug fixing update that was released for Windows 10 and Windows 11. So January saw of course the Patch Tuesday update. Patch Tuesday update of January broke a few things for some people including the VPN for some and um, all sorts of server assisted uh, features including the um, the iProv-V uh, functionalities uh, but also some people were experiencing slow boot times after patch Tuesday some were experiencing um, a start menu that takes a long time to actually start and that's not just Windows 11 that was both Windows 10 and Windows 11 so um, one of the things that you need to know if you have experienced that very important the latest update that was pushed for bug fixes which is of course a it's called the preview update in uh, windows is actually has fixed a lot of stuff so anything uh, and remember one thing because i st still see a lot of people uh saying well you know preview updates are are not real updates and so on the preview updates are real updates the preview updates simply means that, and you know, that's where Microsoft wording is always bad. Preview updates are always um, uh, real updates. They are just updates that actually are um, bug fixes only. There's no security in there. So if you have not installed yet the preview update for bug fixes that was released uh, last week for Windows 10 and for Windows 11 and we talked about it um, One of the things it fixes is the slow boot times for some one of the things it fixes is the uh, file explorer having uh, You know slow performance when opening folders for example uh, I have noticed some improvements personally and also opening some types of uh, files including pictures and and um, there's also the start menu problem that was fixed for some. And a lot of gamers have actually acknowledged that the bug fixing update that was released last week for Windows 10 and for Windows 11 are great. They have uh, put their games back to optimal speed. Uh, some were complaining that games were almost unplayable at times. Well, apparently all of that is fixed in the last update that was released last week. So um, check out your Windows updates, and if you haven't done so, and you have issues with your computer and the Windows updates, you should see that optional update that you can click download and install, because it doesn't install automatically. And just apply it, and uh, a lot of those problems, apparently, according to the latest reports, are fixed. A lot of users are saying, yep, things are really, really better with this update. So, uh, and it fixes a bunch of other things if you have little glitches here and there, both in Windows 10 and in Windows 11. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.